Hi guys, today is the 1st of May. Let's go there. You know, we all make um, New Year resolutions, yeah? We all know what they mean. But are you aware that we can also do this at the first of the month as well? It's the bringing in of new seasons. It's the bringing in of new changes. So let's have a look at today's tarot. First of May. Okay. So when I connected with her this morning, she said, go with the big cards first. So the biggest cards that I've got are the ones by Louise Benton. And here's her card. I like showing it. The description is below if you do want to go and buy a pack of her cards. Okay. So today we have this one. It's beautiful artwork that she designs and it's called the Alchemy card. So I'll put this here on the screen in case you want to pause and read it yourself. Okay, let's go there with the Alchemy card. Earth and Sun sublime counterparts. So we've got to look here. Earth and Sun, they're totally separate, but they work together in unison. Okay, Sun's light resonates with Earth's beating heart. You can't have one without the other. Life reaches forth to embrace the sun's rays. So this is where we acknowledge the other counterpart and we respect it for what it does for us and what we do for it as well. Okay. Life reaches forth to embrace the sun's rays. We are blessed by sweet light as we greet each new day. So here we go. First of May. This is our new start of a new month, correct? Great solar being, essence divine, illuminating our world, marking cycles of time. There you go, 1st of May, okay? Forming and merging in an alchemical dance, the splendor of this union holds us entranced. So it's when we get entranced by something, what does that mean? We get that passion for it. We get that drive. We get that enthusiasm, yeah? Through um, eons of time, sun has supported earth, as the same as earth has supported the sun in reverse, right? In harmonious balance for life to come forth. Okay, sacred connection, celestial perfection. Long may your souls be aligned. I honor the divinity of creation. Okay, so what a great card for the beginning of the month, okay? So what we've got to look here at, this is what um, I interpret the messages that I'm getting. This is where we stop listening to other people. We look within us and we say to ourselves, what can I do to make my life better in the future? Okay, this is our time to stop listening to other people's opinions and start working on our own, okay? So my little lovey-dovey card was the second one. I love these little lovey-dovey cards. Love would care for a friend in need. Love would care for a friend in need. Now, what does this one mean? It means that we're showing compassion. This means that we're showing that patience to allow others to be who they want to be. This is showing that we are concerned, that we care for a friend in need. But it means that we're showing all that gratitude and appreciation for who they are. We're facing their battles with them because we're putting that perspective into it where we know what they're going through and we're able to assist them. It doesn't mean it has to be financial assistance. It doesn't mean it has to be emotional assistance like emotional support. But it means that we're just there with them, allowing them to know that they're not alone. Okay? Now, the next card I got in my tarot, it is the Four of Pentacles. Wow. Four of Pentacles. So let's go over to my book and read what this guy says. The Four of Pentacles indicates being focused upon goals and financial matters. Um, at this time and being prepared to work hard to attain them. So let's have a look at focusing on our goals this week. Focusing on our financial matters does not represent or be our goals. Okay, it could be that support 
focusing our support, which is our energy, which is currency, which is vibration, which some would call money, correct? Okay, so we're emphasizing our friends and family at this time as well, okay? However, having worked hard to achieve some form of financial stability, there may now be a fear of loss. Now, self-sabotage, self-sabotation. What is it when we self-sabotage ourselves? We think of all this stuff coming in. Oh, yes, I've got all this good stuff coming in. I've just met a new friend. I'm starting to go to this new group and starting to do my new hobbies again. Oh, I just got a promotion at work or I got a new job. But then we self-sabotage ourselves. We say that we're not worthy. So this is a perfect week to say to ourselves, I am worthy. This is where we say to ourselves, I am capable. I am strong. I have the courage to get me through this hardship. Okay? So then I can look after other people because we always have to look after ourselves first, right? And through this alchemy card, consider the other side. Earth to the sun. Think about other people at this time. How are they traveling? How are their emotional health going? How are they feeling overall? Okay? It doesn't mean that we have to go out there and tell them what to do. We don't have to control what they're doing. But just allowing them to know they're not alone. And I think that's a message that I am getting today. Thank you. She's nodding. Yes. Allowing others to know they're not alone. Okay? During isolation the last two years... A lot of people felt lonely. Now we've got this psychological issue happening where you don't want to leave your house because we're so conditioned to wanting to be at home. So now we've got to get that strength, that courage, that drive, determination to actually want to go and do something. So this is where we can get out our pen and paper and we sit there and we say, right, what is it that I was doing five years ago that I wanted to do, but I never got around to do it because of all these mandates that came in? What did I want to be when I was a kid? You know, one of the exercises I teach people, go back to the 15-year-old you. Where were you when you were 15? What did you want to be? I'll tell you what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a rock and roll star. I wanted to be on stage singing. So I went and had all these professional singing lessons and I... I got all the clothes that looked like I was a 1980s rocker, okay? I air guitar. So how do I get back to that now? I don't have to be that person on the stage. I can be that person on the stage just by closing my eyes and visualizing that dream, okay? This is what I'm trying to say. We don't have to actually physically create what we wanted to be. Another dream I had when I was 15, I wanted to be an archaeologist. I wanted to be in um, Egypt or Peru, digging up all the ruins and seeing what they used to bury. How do I do that now? I can't do it now. But I can when I simply close my eyes and I create it. So that's giving me that emotional connection. It's giving me all that inner strength, inner courage, inner determination to face whatever other goals that do exist in my three-dimensional world. Okay? We don't have to physically be somewhere to be there. Close your eyes and imagine yourself on that island. Imagine yourself at that famous resort. Imagine yourself in that Chanel or... Amani shop looking at all the $75,000 clothes. We don't have to physically be there or to be physically driving that Lamborghini. We can just open, close our eyes and imagine you're holding the steering wheel and feeling the wind on your face because it is a convertible, right? <laughs> if you're in my dream, it's a convertible, right? So you feel the wind on your face as you're driving down the highway in this bright red Lamborghini convertible. What's your dreams is what the tarot cards are telling us today. Go and just close your eyes in a quiet spot. Meditate. Because the more we create things, 
the more good things come to us. Okay? So this is what all the cards are pointing to today. Now let me go into my ruins. Let me have a ruin stone for everybody for the next week. Okay, so as again, I don't look into my bag of ruins, okay? I just, oh, there's one in there. It's, oh, it's a hot one. It's right down in the middle. Where is he? It's this one, this one. Oh, look at you. Okay, so let me just put my bag away first because I've got the stone. He's here. Let me turn him around. I hope I've got him up the right way. Or does he go the other way? Is he this way? But it came out this way. So let's have a look at this stone. <clears throat> okay, let me find him in my book. Da, 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 da. Oh, here he is. Here he is. Okay, so here he is. It's that one there, and I'll show you the stone so you know we've got the right one, right? There he is. Okay. Yep, there he is. All right, so let's have a read of this one. It's called Fehu, and it's the cattle stone. Cattle. Okay. An ancient primary source of wealth and status oh the symbol of earned income or success something worked for it to generate a return oh my god okay this is the symbol for earned income or success now what did the um, four of pentacles just say the four of pentacles can indicate being focused upon goals and financial matters so see how these all connect together oh my goodness okay so let's read this i'm excited we've got three dot points okay first one prosperity good fortune success in financial or relationship matters due to hard work or actions there's your four of pentacles there's this one looking after others oh my god here's this one using the yin and the yang of the universal energies oh i love it when they all come together don't you okay second dot point signal not to give up on your current goals didn't i just say that Go back to your 15-year-old version of yourself when you're a kid. Go back three years ago before all this weirdness started. Sit there and think about who was I in 19, um, 2019? What was I planning to do? What job was I thinking about going into? What form of study was I thinking about? Was I thinking about a new hobby to start? Oh, there goes my hat. Was I thinking about upgrading my car? That sort of thing. Go there. Write all that down. Oh, I was thinking three years ago to start a new course. Well, what course was it? Well, you write it down. Is it still valid today? Okay. Is it something that you can still do today? And think about how you can now implement those changes. Because this is all about changes. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Last one. If Oh, that's just negative ruins. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we don't need it. So it's the cattle. It doesn't mean that we're following like cattle. You know how everyone says sheep, right? It doesn't mean that we're all sheep. This means to represent what the cattle, you know, let's go back, what some famous movies um, that they did, you know, like Giant. What was that? Um, um, what was his name? The guy who got killed in the car accident. Um, 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 I can't think of him now. Um, Rock Hudson was in it. Elizabeth Taylor was in it. I think it was called Giant. The one about the oil rigs and how the oil families, right? Um, I can't think of that guy's name. He had a Porsche, a silver Porsche. Oh, God, it starts with a J. I can't think of his name. Oh, gosh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, so we think about what we have. The value. The value. Because value at the end of the day, at the end of the day is currency. And at the end of the day, currency is energy. And at the end of the day, energy is vibration. And the more that we higher up our vibration and we're looking after ourselves first and allowing us to be everything that we want us to be without listening to the external forces of saying who you have to be, okay? Start shining in that energy field because that is how we make magic occur. And as I keep saying, it spreads out of us like a pheromone and it attracts and attaches to other people. And you know what that means? It means good things are coming. What a great tarot spread. So let's just recap in final moments. First message that I'm getting for today, connect back to who we are. Sit there, analyze who you are. 
What are you on the inside? Because that's all that matters. Titles, status, doesn't matter. Who are you on the inside? Who do you want to be when you interact with others? What do you want them to see about you? Do you want them to see that you're selfish, greedy, complicit, a sheep? Do you want them to see that you're generous, kind, loving, a critical thinker? Do you want them to see that you're a go-aheader person, getting out there and doing what you want to be? Because this is how we change our vibration into higher vibrations, acknowledging who we are. Another point that I'm getting from today's spread, don't listen to others' opinions. Their opinions do not matter. At the end of the day, it's only us. We are the only ones who control our lives. Allow is the next message. Allow others to be who they are. Don't judge them. Just allow it. If you see someone doing something wrong, you just say, oh God, thank that God it's not me. Be grateful. Be appreciative. That wasn't me. Thank goodness it's not me getting the fine today. Okay? Or getting charged by the police for doing that um, action. So you sit there and you be grateful. And you appreciate. And most of all, direct that to them. Because they need it so badly right now. So I am going to try and get another video done this afternoon. It's going to be how to pray. What can we pray for? How do we get them to come true? How do they listen to us and make these miracles occur? It's not going to have religious slants in it. Because yeah, I'm spiritual. I'm not religious. Okay? So it's going to be how to manifest using them to assist us. So I hope you stay tuned for that one. It's going to be called How to Pray. Okay? So have a great day, guys. Sit there. Go back to the kid that you used to be. And in fact, I might just get off here now and go out and do a little bit of air guitar to Bon Jovi and Akadaka. You know, ACDC. I'm back in black. That raises my vibrations up. And that's what we're doing this week, right through this reading. So guys, best of luck. Tell, let me know. Comment below. Like this video if something happens this week where you just feel great about you. Talk to you soon. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.